friends, welcome or welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Brenda. I am so happy to have you here today. If you are returning, thank you so very much. And I am so happy that you are here, not just today, but all the times that you come back and support me. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, here's DIY number one. So for this DIY, I am using my Waverly chalk paint in the color ivory, and then I printed this from uh, Cricut Design Space. I got this picture last year after Easter. It was marked down at our local grocery store. And then this um, paper that I got from a paper pack, I believe it came from Hobby Lobby. And then this cake board from Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna start off by taking the hanger off of that little Happy Easter sign. And I gave it a good coat of ivory chalk paint, but I did not do a thick coat because I wanted to have some distressing. So then I took the decal and I placed it on top of my picture and I am just burnishing it here and then removing my transfer tape like you see there. And then after that, I take my um, cake board and I put it behind the paper and I'm just tracing it out. And I this paper is not long enough for the cake board, so I did have to use some of that other piece uh, to cut another a smaller piece which is what you see there. So I'm just using my glue stick and I am just adding that smaller piece to the top of the picture. And then I am just gonna use that glue stick all the way around that um, paper there. And I'm gonna add it to the bottom, making sure that the scalloped edges all match with that board. And then once I have that all smoothed on, I took that uh, sign that we created and I'm just using hot glue all the way around the edges and in the middle and I am just adhering that to the cake board. After that, I took some jute rope and I'm just putting some hot glue all along my picture there and just running that um, jute twine uh, all the way around the picture. I just felt like it needed something to just kind of frame this picture. And I just, um, honestly, you guys, I love the way this came out. And then after I got done with that, I took some of my Waverly chalk paint and I went around and distressed the whole cake board. And in case you guys uh, didn't catch the theme, which I didn't mention, <laughs> um, this theme is what Easter is all about. Um, I was going to participate in the He is Risen playlist that was this last weekend, but realized that I had double booked myself. So I decided to go ahead and just make my own um, video reflecting what I believe Easter is truly about, which is our Christ Jesus rising from the dead uh, for all of us. So after I got that rope on there, I am just going to hot glue some of this, um, these floral bushes I got from Dollar Tree. And then I took this burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree. I should say burlap and lace ribbon. And I am just making the bow by doing the um, awareness sign, scrunching it up in the middle. And then I'm just using some of that jute twine to tie a knot to keep it secure there. And I, once I have this knot done, I'm going to trim it. I'm going to uh, dovetail the ends and then I'm going to hot glue that to the board. And I think that's all that there is for this one. And no, there's not because I'm going to add a hanger to it. <laughs> Since it's a cake board, it didn't have a hanger. So I just took some more of that twine and doubled or put knots on the the back and then hot glued it to the back. And I did not want the hanger to be very long, so I cut it kind of short. And I love the way this turned out. I'm sorry it's really hard to read 
And it says, and he himself carried our sins in his body on the cross. And that's 1 Peter 2, 24. And I love this. I think it is so pretty. You'll have to let me know what you think about it. If you'd like to follow me on social media, you can find the links to my accounts in my link tree in the description box below, as well as links to other affiliated uh, things that I have. <laughs> Here's DIY number two. Oh my goodness. Okay. So for this DIY, I'm going to take my antique Waverly wax and some of these wildflowers I got from Dollar Tree. This um, berry garland from Dollar Tree, one of these wood crosses that I got last year from Hobby Lobby. I printed this, I'll try and have the link in my description box, um, this for the old rugged cross, and it actually came out that color. And then I got this plaque last year at Goodwill. So um, I am just starting off here by rubbing the edge of my picture along the paper there. That way I could crease it and know exactly where to trim it. And then once I had it all creased with my fingers there, then I'm just going to use my scissors and cut all around it. So then I took my Waverly antique wax and I am just brushing it all over and then wiping it off with my paper towel. And I did this all around the um, board there. Then I did the same thing on one of these crosses. I just um, went around the front and the sides, painted it with my wax, and then wiped it off with my paper towel. After that, I took my Waverly chalk paint in the color Cashew, and I wanted to do some dry brushing and got a little heavy-handed heavy handed, and wasn't sure about it, and I tried to wipe it with my finger, and I thought, you know what? I think I kind of like this. So I smeared it in a little bit more with a paper towel here, and I love the way that looked. It really gave it a rugged look. So I just painted or uh, put on some more of that paint and rubbed it off with my paper towel. Then I took that paper that I cut out and I'm just using a brush to add some water to it. And then I'm just ripping it all the way around. That way it has kind of a jagged, worn look to it. After that, I took some Mod Podge and I am putting it all around. I was just going to put it around where that paper goes, but then I was not quite sure where all the edges were going to lie. So I thought, oh, what the heck? I'll just put it all around the top of this board. And so that's what I'm doing here. And I did get a little too much there. So I'm just kind of trying to wipe everywhere and get it um, sealed in as much as I could. Then I'm just taking that paper and placing it where I liked it and rubbing it all down. And then I did set it aside and let it dry for a little bit. And then once it was dry, I took some more of the Mod Podge and I just went over it. Then I took some of this greenery. I just had some different little picks laying around and I just started um, pulling off the greenery and just hot gluing it to the bottom here. I put three of the greenery pieces on each side and then I took some of these wild flowers from Dollar Tree and I just hot glued them over the greenery and I did the same on the other side just like you see there and then I'm going to take that cross and I'm going to hot glue that right over the flowers there And then I took some of this berry pick and I just wrapped it around my fingers a couple of times and then I trimmed off the excess and then I'm just going to twist the ends around the, the ring there and then that's my thorn of crowns even though the berries don't really look like thorns. Um, but I just really liked the way it looked so I'm just going to hot glue that right onto the corner of that. Um, cross and then I did the same thing here with some jute twine just put some knots on the ends and hot glued it in the back and there it is and I just love it you'll have to let me know what you think about this one in the comment box below okay DIY number three so for this DIY I'm going to use some of this jute rope I'm going to use one of these bamboo cutting boards from Dollar Tree. That rope came from Walmart. This paper, it came from this 
paper pack from Dollar or not Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby. I got it this summer. It was on clearance, and then some solo wood flowers there. So I'm going to use this board and trace out uh, with the paper. Trace that board out and trace the paper out. Oh my goodness! Okay. Once it was traced out and cut out, I used my glue stick, and I'm just using that to adhere it to um, the cutting board. Now, this paper, it has scriptures in it and the Lord's Prayer, so that's why I picked that paper. So then I just put some hot glue on the back, and I added my twine, and I am just wrapping it. I don't remember how many times I wrapped it, you guys. It's just really a matter of how thick you want the cross to look. So I'm just wrapping it and making sure that it's even on both sides. And then once I got it to the width that I thought I liked, I trimmed it and then I just hot glue that um, piece to the back there as well. And then I'm going to take a little bit of twine there and I'm weaving it underneath and then I am going to cinch it uh, and I went up just a little bit and I cinched it and cut and tied that in a knot and then after I do that and trim it all down then I'm going to take some more of that rope and I'm going to do the same thing where I hot glue it in the back and then I'm just going to wrap it around the sides and um basically do the same thing that we did when it was going up and down. So once I have this all wrapped, I'm just going to, um, and again, I don't remember how many times I did it. I just did it to where I felt like I liked the way it looked. Then I just, this time I used a, a tapestry needle to weave in that twine, made it a little easier. And then I just scrunched it and tied a knot. And I absolutely love this one, guys. I think I love them all. <laughs> I think they all came out really pretty. Um, so I took some more of the solo wood flowers, and I am just going to hot glue that big one in the middle of the flower or the cross there. Then I'm taking some of these smaller ones and just going around the outside of that um, bigger flower there. Then after that, I took some of these pearl beads that I got from Dollar Tree. I've had them forever. And um, I just am hot gluing them in between those flowers where there was some gaps. And when I did that, I made sure that the little holes were not they're facing sideways and not up and down. Then I took some smaller pearls from Dollar Tree and I did the same thing. I just went around the inside of that flower just to give it, I don't know, a little something else. Then I took my antique wax. I decided that paper needed some distressing and I just went around the whole board distressing the paper, distressing the board because the board is kind of a lighter color and I kind of wanted the edges to be a little darker. So I'm just going all the way around and doing my distressing and then I'm also going to distress uh, some of that paper um, it was a tannish color, but I wanted it to be a little darker um, so that it looked a little more old. Then after that, I took some four tumbling tower blocks, and I'm just going to glue one on each side of where the twine is. And then I'm just going to add one more to each of those because it, they were not long enough to hold that sign up. But once I got the second piece on there, then they it stood up perfectly. And that's all there was for this one. You'll have to let me know what you think. There's so much you could do for this. I mean, you could use a bow. You could do uh, in the middle there. Um, you could do another cross in the middle. You could. There's so much you could do with this, guys. And so let me know what you think about this one as well. So DIY number four. Okay, so for this DIY, I'm going to use my celery chalk paint by Waverly, some tumbling tower blocks, some scrabble letters, and some more of that paper. So I'm going to start off by taking three blocks and hot gluing them side to side. And I make five of these. Now, if you want to recreate this, you can make this as wide or as long as you want. This is just what I decided to do. So once I had those all done, then I am going to start gluing them together um, top to bottom. 
like you see me doing there. And then you're going to, then I'm going to um, add one single piece to the top and to the bottom. And then I'm going to take three more and hot, do the same thing as hot gluing them uh, side, well, top to bottom there, I guess. And I'm going to do one on the end, and then I'm, these are going to be the sides of the cross. And I will hot glue them on the cross as well. If you're new here, I just want to say welcome. My name is Brenda, and I am so happy you stopped by today. If you like home decor on a budget, holiday decor, decor, thrift flips, and gift ideas, then I would hope you would hit that subscribe button, become part of our family, and then let me know that you are here. I love to hear from all of my subscribers. Um, I just love to get to know you, and that's one way of getting to know you. And then if you guys all like my video, please make sure you uh, like and comment. That really helps my channel grow and lets YouTube know that you like my content and they will advertise it more. So as you saw there, I painted that cross once it was all glued together with my chalk paint. And here I am just measuring out the width of the paper that I want to use. And I am just using my Elmer's adhes purple adhesive glue spray, I don't know what you call it, um, to adhere that paper to the cross there. And then once I was done with that, I took a little Mod Podge and I'm just going over it to just kind of help protect that paper so it doesn't rip. And it also gives it a little bit more, um, I guess helps it stick a little bit more is the word I'm look what I'm looking for. <laughs> After that, I took my Scrabble uh, pieces and spelt out Amazing Grace um, like you see there, and I'm just hot gluing them all in place. After I am done with that, I decided it needed a little, there was so much green, it needed something else. So I took some of this twine here, and I'm just hot gluing it and going right around the edge of that paper. And I really like the way this turns out. It, I think it just really helps um, frame in that paper. It kind of helps break up some of the green and yeah, and gives it that rustic look too. So once I was done with that, I thought I still need something. So I took some more of that cashew chalk paint and I went all around the edge and just um, distressed it. And like I said, I really feel like this helps break down some of that green. Um, I was feeling like it was just too much green, even though they're a little different colors. I just wanted to break it down some. So once I had that all distressed, then I went through and just threw some distressing on that paper as well. And then I took the three more blocks and I'm going to hot glue them together. And then I'm taking those two blocks that you see there and I'm going to hot glue one on each side. So we're just going to make kind of a bigger square block there. I guess it's more of a rectangle. <laughs> and this is going to be the base of my cross there. So once I have that done, I painted it with my cashew chalk paint. And then once that was all dry, I'm going to use my wood glue and a little dab of hot glue to glue this um, cross on and that's just to give it a better longer hold. And then I just took some more um, pieces of greenery that I had and I'm hot gluing them to the bottom of that cross and then adding a couple of those wildflowers as well. And that is all there is for this one. Oh, I guess I added some little teeny yellow flowers there too. Just kind of giving a little more pizzazz. <laughs> But that was all there was for this one, and I just love it. I love really how all of them came out, and um, to me, that's this is what Easter really is about. It's about Jesus dying on the cross, and not just dying, but rising again, overcoming death, and um, dying on the cross for our sins, and then overcoming death so that we can overcome death as well. And I. I am so grateful and so thankful for him and all he has done in my life. And if you don't know him and you want to know more, hey, you can email me. I have my email in the description box. I'd love to, to talk with you. So here is the final reveal of all four DIYs. 
I love them all so very much and I hope you did too. Let me know. And if you're new here again and like this, please hit that subscribe button and become part of our family. And you guys don't forget to give me that thumbs up and comment. And with all that being said, you guys, I will be back on I think it's Friday, Friday or Saturday with another video. It's Friday. I'll be back on Friday with another video. So I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.